Hello and welcome to New Junction. Now something a little different today, we're going to start with a slideshow. As you can see on screen is the uh, Class 37 pulling a network rail train. And it's something I've wanted for quite a while, but simply had not had the skill level to do. Um, that was until I found a company called The Weathering Shed, um, run by a chap called Cameron. Um, and literally we sent him some uh, Hornby Mark II's as you can see on screen um, and these are how they were out the boxes and I said to him do your worst and turn them into the train I want so this slideshow is the process as you can see to begin with they were um, stripped and primed obviously the one on the back left there has had its windows filled in I think that was done with car filler if I remember rightly um, as you can see the process is coming on with the priming um, he was very good enough to uh, take these photos as we went because I said I did want to make a video <laughs> which benefits us all um, of course you get a closer look of the coach on the right there which has had its windows filled in and it actually comes out really well it's very smooth, you wouldn't know they were there now um, you can see the uh, brake uh, coach at the front there um, he is also working on the uh, um, version which has a uh, uh, a driver's seat in as well but uh, um, that wasn't finished by the time I made this video <laughs> as you can see the uh, uh, the first coats of yellow going on very well um, um, and this was the uh, test of the roof on the top coach there as you can see then the rest of them had their uh, roofs done um, and there we are all four coaches of mine uh, drying in the sun um, I think this was when the uh, the lines were added the orange lines now I can imagine that being particularly frustrating um, and this was the start of the uh, decals going on uh, some details around the wheel sets uh, things like that um, looking all very very nice to be honest as you can see with a name like the weathering shed, um, I asked him to very lightly weather the uh, under axles and underbodies um, with a very, very light sleeper grime. And I think he's done a wonderful job. I also sent my class 37, as you can see, and he uh, weathered that up a treat for me. Um, <laughs> so I'm just dry drying um, on his workbench. He also does uh, doubt rail coaches, which uh, I think I'll have to tempt myself to some. Uh, apparently the decals are extremely uh, difficult on these sets. Now believe it or not the most worrying part of the whole project was sending off my uh, class 37. Now whereas the coaches are one aspect they are relatively easy to replace um, so if something goes wrong ultimately you just get another one. Um, it'd be a bit of hassle but easily sorted. A local, on the other hand, is a bit more of a serious um, item. It usually costs quite a bit, um, and you've got to trust that the person's work is how they, how good they say it is, or how good you believe it is. Um, and then you've also got to trust that uh, that person is legit, and they're going to send it back to you. Um, I did my research before. I've seen examples of Cameron's work, and was very impressed. So um, I had no bother sending him this loco. <laughs> um, now with the coaches I did specify I only wanted the under sides weathering not the actual uh, yellow bodies themselves because I wanted them clean. Um, whereas on the uh, class 37 I literally said go for it, <laughs> go to town um, and weather my loco. Um, so as you can see he's done a, uh, a grand old job of uh, grubbing this uh, what is otherwise brand spanking new class 37 up um, and I'm very happy you can see on the underside of course it's the sleeper grime there are oil patches um, on the axles etc um, and then on the, uh, the the top of the engine um, from the nose etc you can probably just about see it there are um, I suppose weathered spots might be a bit hard to see on camera, but uh, you have to trust me, they're there. 
and then of course the vents are all uh, um, covered in things as you, you go around you see the grime in them um, just makes all the difference really see from the top you can just see the uh, nose detail the dirt on the on the top and then uh, by the vents here um, it's very subtle but uh, I'm not sure if it will come out on camera but uh, uh, it's very good in the flesh it just gives it that uh, used feeling um, which is what you want really now coming back to the side um, you get a, of course you get a close up of the uh, the uh, details and accents that have been put on um, of course you can see the uh, the oil stains around the springs as well on the uh, axles so it's not just one colour spray um, more often than not you can tell good service um, not when things go right but when things go wrong and uh, funnily enough when this engine came back to me it didn't work um, uh, it turned out that one of the uh, shell screws had literally gone straight through a chip wire um, which is a pure accident um, but without hesitation um, Cameron said he'd either replace the chip or refund me in full so I could replace the chip um, and he did that instantly with no no quibble at all so um, he was more than happy to um, see that the job was done 100% um, which is very rare these days so it's very nice to uh, um, to be on the receiving end of good service um, so he doesn't have a website but he does have a Facebook page which will be linked below for the weathering shed I suggest if nothing else you go on there, have a look at his work, have a look at what he does for other people, um, give him a like, um, and if there's something you're uh, interested in, from weathering to a full respray project, just give him a message, ask him what it'll cost, ask him what, what can happen. Um, you never know without asking, and if nothing else, it might open a few doors to uh, either new ideas or um, something really good for your layout. But I'm going to leave it there, I want to let you see it running around my layout now and I'm going to enjoy it. Um, but otherwise, as ever, thank you guys for watching. Take care and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.